Swamp Sniper here. And I'm gonna show you how ridiculously easy it is to paint your rifle, give it a great paint job that functions well and covers all the basics. Now, most YouTube videos where people are painting their guns, they're doing something horrifically wrong. If you look up the top gun painting videos, this is what you find. Now, what do they all have in common? They're all putting it on a flat surface. This means that you are doubling, tripling, or quadrupling the time it takes to paint your gun, uh, and you can't get a solid feel for how one side looks versus the other, can't necessarily connect the tops and the bottoms of the patterns very well. This way is the simplest way, trust me. All you have to do, hang your gun. Hang your gun. It doesn't matter what you hang it on, it could be outside on a tree, it could be on a ladder, on a broomstick, whatever you gotta do, just hang your gun. I'll show you my uh, simple paint job on the SSG24 and then tell you a little bit more about it right after. All you need is some flat camouflage paint and some blue painter's tape. I taped over where it says Maverick, taped over the hop-up adjustment, front of the barrel, front glass, rear glass, uh, over the bolt itself here, put a little piece in front of it and behind the trigger. I put tape over a magazine and shoved it in there. And where else? Anyway, I put a bunch of tape on it. I'm gonna hang it and paint it. When you hang your rifle, the stock should be at about eye level. Also, always paint outdoors and not indoors. You're gonna start with the lightest color as a base. Just a soft dusting. You're not trying to full out of this thing. Just small burst or go semi on it. It gives the first real coat something to stick to. Now that I've done a very light dusting with can, and it's actually dry after about a minute after, um, just to make sure it sticks, I'm gonna do a full coat of tan as the base. Notice, I'm still going semi-auto on this thing. You don't wanna get any runs or anywhere where the paint is too thick and it becomes uneven. Now that we have our first light coat, it's time to work darker. Even if the paint's wet, it's fine because you can always put wet paint on wet paint. Now we're going with an army green. I'm going with diagonal stripes alternating in direction. There's many ways to do this. This is just one way that I like. You will use this pattern as a guide for the rest of the paint job. Now it's time to get darker. I'm taking deep forest green and some wide netting and going over the center of the light green stripes that I previously applied. Making sure that I connect it on the tops and the bottom. It's very easy because I have those stripes as a guide. Now the gun is already pretty much broken up, but there's still these huge tan spots. Filling in these spots with a little bit of foliage and some intense close spraying will help. I'm still using deep forest green at this step. Now I could stop here after the foliage. The gun looks pretty decent, but I'd like to make it blend a little bit more so I go darker. I'm now going to use earth brown and some very small thin netting and I'm going to go over the edges of where I previously used the thick netting. As you can see, I'm still following the same stripe guide pattern that I started with with the army green. So freaking simple. still make sure that I'm connecting the pattern from both the tops and the bottoms of where the stripes meet each other. And you should always remember that when you're using netting, the tighter you get it to the surface of the gun, the better the pattern's going to come out. If the netting's too far away, it will dissolve the look. Because I hung my gun, this whole paint job took less than 15 minutes. It would be even faster if I didn't use netting and foliage. So now that I've painted it and it's dried pretty quickly, it's just time for me to take uh, the tape off. So pull this little guy out of there, take the 
tape off of the hop up adjustment. So there you have it. There are many ways to do this, but this is going to work great in my AO this time of year. Now I hope you learned something from that, but let me tell you, that was actually the first gun I have ever painted in my life. I'm not saying it was great, but I think it came out exactly how I wanted to and I had the confidence to do that. Now I never had to paint my guns in the past because my buddy Austin Rogers would always paint everyone's guns out here at Balak. He is a uh, former Riverine Squadron 1 boat gunner, um, and he knows how to paint guns. He did while he was in the service, he did since, since he's gotten really into airsoft and all that. And it was just like, dude, you paint them so fast, they're so practical, blah, 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 blah. Uh, let me pay you to develop a product so everyone can see all of this stuff. From watching him and from filming him uh, as I created this, this camouflage like gun painting course and stuff, I learned all the basics I needed to quickly paint that gun. I could have been a lot more detailed, could have been a lot more sophisticated. Uh, that paint job works well in my AO for the current season. That's the other thing, a quick paint job is good uh, because you're gonna wanna paint it again if you wanna use that rifle in a different AO, in a different season, all that good stuff. So I made this product, it's on airsoftcamouflage.com. You pay 20 bucks and you get eternal access to this two hour course. Now it's not just gun painting and gear painting that uh, Austin covers. I've also got my buddy Don Shipley, who is a, uh, a former senior chief Navy SEAL and he covers camouflage tips, face painting, a lot of cool stuff like that. Uh, and I've got my other buddy, Chris Ketcherside, who has a minor in history and a major in the history of land warfare, and he's also a Marine major. Um, so he knows what he's talking about. If you want to uh, become more well-rounded and basic, simple, good, practical knowledge and not get all screwed up and know who you're hearing it from, check out airsoftcamouflage.com. I also have it on swampsniper.com. There's a link to it. It just says Swamp Sniper Camouflage Course. So um, anyone that gets this product, uh, you can get a refund within 60 days if you like it. If you don't like it, it doesn't matter. Through the system that I use, you can request a refund and get it. My goal is not to make a ton of money off of this. My goal is to make enough money so I can pay more of my real world expert friends uh, and I can create other products like individual weapons handling, uh, CQB basics, land warfare, vehicle interdiction, all kinds of stuff so that we actually can get a good, uh, good SOP out there, um, but not tackle it a manner like, this is the best way, this is the only way. It's just real world people that are showing you how they learned it, uh, which is something that I think is valuable. So uh, hopefully you guys liked it. You don't need to get that product. Um, if you did, it would support me greatly. If you have any issues with it, uh, you can get a refund or email the email address on it uh, immediately. And uh, just thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it uh, with any of this, but I had the confidence to paint my gun. It works well. I've used it since at Stonebreaker. Um, and it's gonna work perfectly in this AO. And then when I'm ready to paint for the summer, I'll break up the pattern a little bit more, use a lot darker colors and stuff like that. So check out SwampSniper.com, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all that good stuff. Uh, and thanks for enabling me to do something I really love other than just running this airsoft field. You guys have a good one. I'll see you next time. Swamp Sniper out.